everyone, I'm Molly, and today we're gonna to be doing another dance segment, just to fill your summer with some moving and grooving. So uh, today's dances are gonna be, um, this first one is going to be like ballet and lyrically, so it's gonna be ballet inspired, so it's gonna have some technique deriving from that genre, but then also it's gonna have the lyrical side to it, which is gonna just make it a little more fluid, um, less strict, like we all know ballet is. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so for our intro to our dance, we're gonna start in Rava. And this is kind of the neutral position that most ballerinas take before they start their dances or their sequences. So we're gonna start with um, our first hand going out. And we're gonna look at the palm of our hand as it goes out. So we're gonna go one, then the other side, two. And then we bring both arms up, and then we take them back to Rava. This signals that we are ready to dance. Most um, fun fact, when dancers were mainly dancing with live music, a lot of the times they would do this, so that, that way the conductor of the orchestra would know to start the orchestra up so they could have their music. Just a cool little tidbit. So yes, yeah, so we're gonna start one, two, up, down. Okay, so after we're done doing our intro, we're gonna go straight into the first step, which is tendu. Tendu means to stretch in French, which means that we have to have our legs fully straightened. And then we're gonna bring our arms up, and this is third position for the arms. And then we bring it down into first position, plie. So first position is when we have our feet facing outwards, and then we have our heels touching one another. What I like to do to get into my comfortable first position is I like to start with my feet parallel to one another and then I start making little pizza slices and I go as far as I can. So there's my small pizza slice, medium, and finally the large one where I can stop. So we're gonna start with our tendu and when we do our tendu, we're gonna bring our arms front and then open with the leg and then we bring it back together, plie. But plie means to bend. So that's when we are bending our legs. And we're gonna create a window right here and it looks like a little diamond. So let's do that all together. So we go tendu and plie. Let's do the other side. Tendu and plie. Now we're gonna take it to the side. We're gonna go tendu with our arms here in second position. Plie and the other side, tendu and plie. So when we move our arms to the different positions, our heads go with it. It just adds a little more detail and a little more flair to our dancing. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the back now. To the back, we're gonna have our arms here. And this is like an L shape. And we're making an angle. So it should be like our index finger right here going all the way down into our big toe in the back. And the big toe in the back is at an angle since we are going to be dancing fully forward and we don't really want to be worrying about moving our body around too, too much. So we're just gonna go straight to the angle and down and the other way. Straight to the angle, look at your index finger and down. Okay, so as soon as we're done with those tendus, then we're gonna go up on our tippy toes in susu, first position. So all that means is that from our plie, from when we did the last tendu, we're already bending our legs here. Now we're gonna go up into susu, which means we just go up on our tippy toes as high as we can, still in our first position. Let's do that together, ready? So we go plie and susu. Good, okay, so now we're gonna do bourree. Bourree is when a dancer 
moves her feet so tiny that it should give the illusion that she's floating. And with this bourree, we are going to move our arms very fluid-like. Again, this dance isn't strictly ballet, so when it comes to the arms, really use your own creativity to decide where you really want them. If you want the more traditional ballet, you can go straight in here, which is the most common and traditional bourree. Or if you're looking for more of a fluid, lyrical feel, you can do more of a wrap with your arms. It's really whatever you want it to be. So, personally, I'm gonna go for more of a fluid approach since I already did my very strict ballet with my tendus. So I'm gonna go su-su, and I go to one side, and then I'm gonna go to the other side, and then I'm going down, plie. And I'm gonna bring my arms up, just to stretch them out and fill in that little bit of music and then I'm ready to start the next part. Okay, so after we're done doing our burets side to side and then doing our big stretch up to get us back to this point, we're going to do almost the same thing as we did before, but instead of tendus, we're gonna be doing but ma's 45 degrees if possible. So all a ma is, is it's like you take your tendu, but then you lift it up from the ground, and then you bring it back down, plie. So let's do it a little more cohesively. So we go up and plie. Other leg up and plie. Good, and we go to the side, up, plie. Don't forget that head, up, plie, to the back, the diagonal, up, and plie, up, and plie, good. But Maz, we're gonna start with our bourrees again. So we're gonna go bourree, bourree, but this time we're gonna turn under, still doing tippy toes, to do a full and complete turn. And then we're gonna continue going to the side we just turned to, and then the other side, and then turn again. This takes us back to our original spot. And then from there, we can just do a quick other stretch up and a breath in between. Developés. So we've already done tendus and we've already done but ma's. So developé is really the last progression that we will be uh, making in our dance. So we're going to start by going up to passe, which is our toe on the knee. If you don't feel quite comfortable with passe, you can always do coupé, which is at the ankle. And it's no difference, it's just a lower level. I personally am going to be doing passe though. So I'm going to go up to passe. And I'm going to have my arms in first, and then I open it out, and then I bring it down, plie first position. And I go the other way, passe, out, plie, and then I'm going to take it to the side, passe, out, plie, passe, out, plie, and then I take it to the back, passe, out, Plie, last one, passe, out, plie. Now we're gonna go up back into our susu, and we're gonna do the same bourrees from the beginning. Remember, you can have your arms however you want. Turn, 
go to the same side we just turned and turn. Then we come down, arms up, last big stretch. Take a breath here, enjoy it. There. every ballerina has to take her bow. No matter what happened in the dance, even if you fell, I've been there, I've fallen during performances, but you still have to take your bow and act like nothing happened. The performance was beautiful no matter what. So to start that, we're going to start with doing our tanju to the side, like we did in the dance. We're going to step, point the other foot, you're going to bring it to the back, and you're going to bow. When you bow, you have to lower your head. It's an act of respect for the audience because even though you were the one who performed, the audience were the people who watched and they served you by watching you dance and by supporting you in what you enjoy and you love doing. So from there, we're gonna go back to first position. We're gonna point the other foot in tendu. Step, point the other, and bow again, head down. And then you go back to first position in Rava, right where we started and you just wait for your applause to finish.